here we are with a balance bike. Now, if you are selling the exact same product, then you have to compete on price. There's no way around it, all right? And that is why I tell you time and time again to differentiate your products because then you're no longer competing on price. You're in a whole new market for yourself where you get to set price. Very, very important. So here we are looking at balance bikes, okay? And what have we got? 47.99, 59, up to 83, 109, so twice the price here. Also, it's the Amazon's choice, interesting. Uh, it's 59, 89, 74, 40, 69, yada, yada, yada. 159. Price is interesting. If you are selling the same product, you've got to go compete on price. And that is what the majority of Chinese sellers will kick your ass on. That's their entire advantage, price. So if that's all you've got, you are screwed. You are screwed. Because the second somebody from China decides to sell that product to, you're just going to get eaten alive. And uh, all things being equal, Two people selling the same product, one's half the price of the other. It's a no-brainer which one's going to get purchased more. So don't compete on price. The way that you do not have to compete on price is by differentiating your product and making it something new and unique. You can see here that we've got in the space of one page on Amazon, everything from $50 to $150 for ostensibly the same thing, a balance bike, but clearly a different, when you, when you actually look into it more, a different thing. Because I know if I am searching for anything, the person who most addresses my unique needs always gets the business always gets the best, the business. So the, the person, so if I'm buying a balance bike for my youngest daughter, Charlotte, who is six years old, if I'm buying a balance bike for her, I've got a very particular set of things I am looking for, all right? And I know what my daughter likes, what she doesn't like. I know the colors she likes. I know the cartoon characters she likes. The person who lays that in front of me that's the person who will get the business. That is the person who gets the business. So Beck, the lesson here is to laser focus on your customers. The more you do that, the more money you can make on Amazon. I guess that's the easiest uh, and most succinct way I can put that to you. Hey, thanks so much for watching that video and I hope that you got some massive value from it. Before you go, do you live in Australia? If you do, this is for you. Would you like to learn how to sell things on Amazon here in Australia? Would you like to know what sells really, really well and what sells for the maximum amount of profit? Would you like to know where you can source those products from, whether that be in China or here in Australia and how to source them so you pay bottom, bottom dollar and get maximum value for what you're doing. If you do, please subscribe to my channel and like this video and you'll learn that and much, much more. It's the exact same information that people like Jeff from New South Wales I've used to make $45,000 a month on Amazon that Sue, who's from the sunny coast, has used to purchase herself a brand spankly BMW every single year as a result of her e-commerce business. And the lovely Kate from Barrel in New South Wales has used to make $32,000 a year on, uh, sorry, a month, not a year, a month on Amazon. And indeed, Anthony, who makes $15,000 a month on Amazon, selling, as he puts it, odds and sods. If you'd like to learn the exact same inf information that they use to maximize their profits for their Amazon businesses, subscribe to this video, like my channel, and post below if you want me to teach you something. Okay, I'm out of here. Speak to you soon. Bye. Subscribe. Subscribe. Do it now.